Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and okay, I did not see Lohanthony denouncing being gay on my 2020 bingo card, but here we are. Okay, so before I begin a little bit of context, you may remember Lohanthony as like this viral internet star who's calling all the basic bitches with his leg. You remember the clip? Calling all the basic bitches. But Lohanthony was one of the early super gay, unapologetically himself influencers to come out of the internet who was just like doing his thing and like living his life. He had kind of fallen off my radar a little bit until recently when I saw this video. The topic is my sexuality and my call to Christian celibacy. It's no coincidence that through pursuing my same-sex attraction, I was also addicted to alcohol. I was also addicted to weed. I was also trying hallucinogenics. That earthly pleasures brought to me. Did God make me gay? Did God allow the situation to be? Did God force this struggle upon me? God gave me the answers that he is love no matter what and that anything that we encounter other than that love is not of God. So the situation itself is pretty complicated and it's developing as it goes, but as I know it today, Lohanthony is equating all of his drug abuse or things that he considers sinful and he's kind of putting them all in the same bucket as his same sex attraction. And then in turn declaring Christian celibacy as his solution for all of these like lustful desires that are inherently sinful or negative in his life and that he can do for himself. But to equate all of same sex attraction to sin or something that means to be withheld or repressed or even converted or changed about a person is playing into the exact approach of anti-gay people who use this exact logic around the world to make homosexuality illegal, punishable by death. It is a slippery slope. Now, normally I would see this and I would think, oh my God, this is so irresponsible. Like I don't want to even give it air to like become a thing. Like, I don't want to blow it out of proportion or anything like that. But then I thought, okay, well, this person has a platform and this is going viral on Twitter and people are seeing this is this is like impacting our society today. And it's not like this is an issue that isn't relevant. There are still many states where conversion therapy is legal. And we have a vice president right now in the White House who supports conversion therapy. So this is a thing that's happening. This is a thing that is current and not behind us yet. And something that we're still dealing with in a lot of queer kids out there still have to deal with in their homes today. So if you're watching and you think like, oh, how is this even relevant? Like who cares about Lohanthony or what he has to say? This is life or death for queer kids right now. At the end of the day, my heart breaks for him because obviously he is in pain, but he is an adult and he has the right to do what he wants to do. That's his journey. He will get to where he needs to go. But my biggest issue is of course the people that might watch that and think, okay, well, here's an example of somebody who has come out the other side of conversion therapy and thinks, okay, maybe that is something that they can then do. And I just cannot sit by and watch that happen. I have to speak on it. And I cannot believe I have to make a video in 2020 speaking on this, but clearly this is something that I do need to say. There is nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with same-sex attraction. There's nothing wrong with having sex with somebody who identifies as the same gender as you, period. Conversion therapy is a problem. Conversion therapy does not work. It is traumatic. It is abusive. It is something that you cannot support. It is something that you actively have to work to dismantle because it is happening still today. And if you see people encouraging it or supporting it or even talking about it vaguely like Lohanthony is, we have to be diligent and call it out for what it is. Conversion therapy is abuse. It is brainwashing. It is electric shocking, literally. All with the mindset that your sexuality can be changed if you want it to be. And I just need to put it on the table that that is not the case. Who you are is exactly who you are. If you're watching this and and you are struggling with your own identity. We as a community are here for you. There are so many resources that I will link to below. Who you are, whether it's your gender identity, your gender expression, your sexual orientation, your identity is exactly who you are supposed to be. And no religion or no family member can tell you that you have to change that. If you don't know much about conversion therapy, I will link to some stuff below, but I highly recommend Boy Erased. It's a movie that came out a couple years ago. Troy Saban is in it. It is really powerful. 
I don't remember a movie that I left the theater sobbing because of other than that movie. Like that movie broke me. It was really just like, oof. So if you don't know the effects of conversion therapy, watch that movie. It might give you just like a peek into that really disturbing world. And another thing, when this video was going viral, I feel like I saw so many queer people just making snarky comments about it. This is a human that's in pain and a real human encouraging pain for others. I don't want to like forget about that. Like I think we as queer people, yeah, I guess maybe we use humor to get through these things. But if you want to joke about it, also do some work to dismantle it and get serious. It's not just like some internet star going off the rails. Like this is a real thing that's happening to a lot of kids. And yes, I know that there are a lot of queer people out there like me who feel that being queer is a gift, but there are still a lot of people that don't know that yet. People that don't realize and accept who they are and love who they are because of society or religion or their family or their neighborhood or whatever it might be, where they are in the world, they have learned to not love themselves for who they are. And I think it's our job, whether you're in the queer community or an ally to us, to do the work of ending conversion therapy around the world and changing the culture, not just to become accepting of being queer, but celebratory of being queer. And I know this feels so huge and big of a problem, like how do you even go about doing this? But there are a lot of ways to change culture in your everyday life, whether it's having difficult conversations with your friends and family, talking to them about social issues like being queer, joining the Gender and Sexuality Alliance at your school, supporting organizations like GLSEN or GLAAD or the HRC, or even the Trevor Project, which is working to ban conversion therapy in all 50 states. There is a lot that we can all do, and seeing somebody like Lohanthony use his platform to promote conversion therapy made me realize I need to do what I can to put an end to it. I wanna to get to a place in my life where when I see a situation like this, where I see somebody using their platform to put out into the universe something that I don't agree with, I want to use my platform to offset it. I want to hopefully do my part to change the world for the better. And I feel like no matter who you are, whether you have 10 followers or 10 million, we all can do a little bit to create change, to move culture the direction we want it to go. So that is all I have for today. You are loved, you are exactly who you should be, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, I hope that you have a wonderful life. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Check out all the links below in the description and subscribe. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Have a good life.